Alrighty, so we're joined by Dwayne DeRosario for a very special edition of our World Cup Qualifying Preview Series here on Canada Soccer TV. Dwayne, a massive series of games coming up for Canada. You must be excited about it. Oh, definitely. Looking forward to, um, you know, uh, another go at the, the World Cup. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a group uh, that, uh, you know, we can't take lightly. And uh, we have to start off on, on the right foot. Nice to see um, uh, the game, games in Toronto. Uh, so hopefully the, the passionate Canadian fans come out and show their support. Absolutely, and, and for players like yourself and Julian de Guzman and some big names in the program, certainly the, the World Cup has been an elusive goal. As a player, how, how much of a dream, how important is it to get to a World Cup? It's, it's, my, it's the dream, for me at least. I know growing up, uh, that's always been my, my biggest goal is to, to help Canada to qualify for, for a World Cup. And, uh, you know, I think that's the highlight of would be for, for soccer in Canada at all levels um, for, for the national team to qualify for the World Cup. It, it's never easy um, uh, road to get there, as, as we've seen in previous um, World Cup qualifiers, but um, you know I think we have a great group of guys. But it uh, definitely starts uh, for this first round coming up. Of course, Canada traditionally got a buy through this round and it had a home and away series to get into the next round. Um, but in, in a way, playing these games presents an opportunity for Canada to work on some things to develop as a team. How do you see this upcoming series as a potential development uh, campaign? Oh, it's crucial. Um, it's vital to to our develop the developmental stage um, for the next round. Um, not taking this round lightly, we, we we just can't afford to. I think we're in, in no position to take this round lightly, but uh, we have to use this game, um, this stage as as a building uh, platform for us for for the next round. Um, I, I think, as you see in previous World Cup qualifiers and Gold Cups, the the later on in rounds, we we tend to get better. But by that time, unfortunately, it's a little bit too late. So hopefully, we can use these um, group stages, which I know. Um, um, Coach Stephen Hart will to uh, get the guys more familiar with each other, get a good um, gel and, and, and uh, flow within, within the team. You enjoyed the tremendous fan support of Toronto FC supporters uh, during your time in Toronto. Um, certainly for Canada, it's been more of a challenge getting the fans out. But as you said, this is a massive campaign for Canada. If you could pass on a message to the fans about the importance of this campaign, what, what would you say? Like I said, I just stressed the point that, um, you know, for, for us to qualify, we need not only the guys in the field, not only the CSA backing us, but we need the fan support. I think they're the 12th man on, uh, on our field, and they help tremendously. Uh, we know what it's like going into Central America and playing there, and the atmosphere, and how, how much the uh, the home team feeds out that atmosphere. So if we can create that environment home in Canada, I think the, the players, um, like myself and the rest of the players, will, will definitely feed off that energy. And, um, you know, it, it's something that I think is vital, especially moving forward in, in the qualifying stages. Dwayne DeRosario and Canada will take to the pitch on September 2nd at BMO Field. Of course, we need all your fan support, so get out there and buy those tickets. Dwayne, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me.